What's up, everybody? We are closing out the day with the men's elite division stage four. This one is going to be six rounds. They're already underway. I'll turn the camera around and explain exactly Oop. There we go. <laughs> what they are doing. But let's first see who are in our lanes. Lane number five, all the way at the end, Walker O'Sullivan. Bringing his farmer carry all the way back. Now in the middle of your screen, that's gonna be Nick Dininger. And then we're gonna come all the way over to lane number one, Chris Brawl. So what is on tap? They have six total rounds. It's going to be EMOM style, every minute on the minute. So the first minute, they try to accumulate as many farmer carries as possible. Elite men's weight, there's going to be two 55 plates and two 10 pound plates on there. And each pass through is one point. Then on the second minute, they go to the firing line. This stage is going to be all pistol. So there are three shapes in their target and they will have two magazines per shape. Each firing sequence is going to have 12 shots. If they finish all 12 shots before that second minute is up, they can just rest and get ready before they start the farmer carry again. So that is one full round done. 10 seconds. <laughs> Two, one, go. And they're back to work. So something to note is they have to use the same hand for one full round. So. Right now we have the athletes using their left hand. They have to do it for all of the farmer's carries. And then when they go to the firing line, they have to continue to use that same hand. And then on the next round, all farmer's carries with the right hand. And then all shots will be done with their right hand. After three total rounds, they will then have one minute of rest and reset before they then will have an additional three rounds. On your screen now, this is Nick. And after two events on the day, he was at the top of the leaderboard in the men's elite division. The first time we saw him was in Idaho earlier this year, and he made a fight for the podium. He was just 0 0.06 percentage points away from beating out veteran competitor, Jared Helbert, so Jared finished third and Nick finished fourth. This is only his second regional event. No prior experience competing in tactical games and he's getting several uh, veterans in the elite division to run for their money right now. He already has a stage win from earlier today in, I believe it was the Echo Bike event that we covered earlier today that was stage two and in stage one he finished first which was our long range shooting event his background in college he went to the university of wyoming and he did track and field and since then he's just been crossfitting 37 years old when i checked practice score that's where you're going to find all of the updates for scoring and keep in mind that athletes will be doing arbitration so that gives them an opportunity if uh, all their shots weren't calculated correctly or if there were any uh, miscommunication between them and their judge they have the opportunity to go and meet with scoring to fix anything that might have been missed but at last check he was six percentage points ahead of the next best competitor he's on the left of your screen baseball cap coming right to us right now And once we have a minute rest, I will check in with the judges and get an update on where the athletes stand with how many farmer carries they've accumulated. So they have to, here, let me tilt this down. They just have to get their feet across the wooden line. The whole um, 
The whole axle bar doesn't need to get past it, but the person does. For all these shots, it is freestyle. So athlete choice, but this is this is pretty standard to what we've been seeing. Just holding with one hand, hand on the plate carrier for some stability has seemed to fare well with most of the athletes. So now we are at the halfway. They're done before their one minute has expired, which now is going to give them additional time because this is where we're halfway and they'll get Ten another seconds. minute to reload and reset. Do you have the clicker of how many? One. To, oh, one sorry, I got to tilt this down. We are at 25 here. Okay, great. Thank you. Can I see your clicker? 21. Great. Thank you. Then we'll go all the way down to the end. Rude. <laughs> Good friend, we love him. Can I see your clicker, please? And we have 19. So 19, 25, and 21, halfway through. This will be the last time that they will have to load their magazines. Then they will have all three so they can continue with the one minute farmer carry and then one minute at the firing line to get through 12 pistol shots. And this will be the final stage on the day for our elite competitors on Saturday. Today, they had four in total. Tomorrow, they will finish with three, three stages, so a total one, of seven. Two, work now. And Nick getting great right to work as his two other competitors were still finagling with loading their magazines. And he was in the lead. with farmer's carry at the halfway point. Oh Most athletes have pretty much the same strategy when it comes Ten to seconds. how they're carrying the farmer's carry. Can't get too creative with those, but if you go back to our Instagram, ta the Tactical Games Instagram account, Go! on stage four, the description, you'll see that there was one athlete that instead of setting it down and turning around, he just did a back shuffle in <laughs> reverse. Not sure how it actually panned out for him, but that's probably the only variance that we've really seen in the style of farmer's carry. But with this mandatory uh, rule that they need to use the same hand each round, that is going to add to grip fatigue and become even more costly as they specifically get to the firing line. They're blowing up their grip and their forearm, doing the farmer's carries, especially time under tension. If they're dropping it and then picking it right back up with any rest in between and then going right to grabbing the pistol, loading it, and hanging on for as long as it takes them to get through 12 shots, that accumulated fatigue, especially as we get to the halfway point and now more than halfway through this stage, um, could greatly affect the accuracy when it comes to hitting their targets. Come down to catch up with Chris, who's in our end oh, Chris, stage. Some encouragement from our RO. And I mean, just look at the scenery around us. We are truly surrounded by mountains out in the desert terrain of Fairfield, Utah. If you've never been here before, it is uh, quite picturesque. 
very dusty, but <laughs> beautiful nonetheless. So even though Nick is ahead of Walker on the farmer's carries, it does look like Walker so far has more, uh, more accuracy and more shots within his targets. Time cap on this one, 13 minutes. So this will then be their final round. So this is the last time, last opportunity to get in as many farmer carries as possible and then one more time at the firing line. Guys, get one more. Get one more. Ten seconds. Come on, Come on. Three, two, one. Here go. they go. Twelve more shots, and then they will be done with stage four on the day. Good shots Thank out you. there. Yeah. Appreciate it. And Nick is done. How, how many did he get? Well, there we go. 46. Nick. Yeah. How are you doing, man? Good. Second tactical games event of yeah. your career. I talked to you earlier, you had a background in track and field, the background in CrossFit. I want to know what your background is in shooting though. Um, I did 4-H growing up, shooting sports. Um, shot for the Army. I did some biathlon in the Army um, for two or three years. So similar to this, but this is way more fun. So, yeah. <laughs> it's also fun when you're winning and you're towards well, the top of the yeah. leaderboard. <laughs> this was tough, but yeah, it's finding a balance between pushing the pace and accuracy, so it's fun. What it's are your challenge. favorite style of stages? Uh, I like grindy, long stuff. Um, tomorrow the sandbag and the rope will be fun. Um, obviously I like the runs, but this weekend was a little short for me. But anyway. Yeah. You were just outside of the podium in Idaho. Yeah, that was a surprise. I just went and had no expectations and Learned a lot and then kind of have been applying that since May. So see where we go. Do you feel like you've had enough time to make some tweaks and end up on the podium this weekend? That's the plan. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Well, congratulations. I know we'll cool. see you at nationals. So yeah. you have that ticket at least, All but right. Thank you. three more events to go. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> And that will close out our men's elite for the evening. And now, quick little turnaround. We are going to highlight one of the other divisions of the women's elite. So we'll see you in just a bit on another YouTube video.